Hola, my name is Jarrell and I'm an artist. Take two. My name is Genaro Garcia. I'm an artist. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm from Sonora, Mexico. I crossed the border in, I think, 96 or 97. It's kind of like a blur. It was hot and, the, and there was a wall that it was kind of high. Uh, so it's kind of like a blur at that, that, that time. <laughs> I, I know that it was summer because I was in Yuma, Arizona. I spent a couple of weeks homeless, living on, a, on an alley. And I remember that it was hot, it was August. The first thing that I did was to paint. And I have my cameras, I have like two cameras and a bag with my clothes. That's all I had with me. That's all that I bring from Mexico. And I was doing these paintings and selling them outside the mall in Yuma for $25 each one. I remember that I used to think, if I sell three of these ones a day, I can make it, dude. I can, I can, I can survive with $75 a day easily. When somebody asks me, what kind of art do you do? I'm like, I just create art. It's like, it's hard for me to describe one style or, or one medium when I'm doing like two, three different uh, styles at the same time. There's different scene that inspire me to do different styles. I know that if I go to Puebla, I'm gonna be doing Talavera. That's what I want to do the most. But if I'm going to San Diego, San Diego for me is more like doing murals. I love San Diego to do murals with some kind of social message. I think Phoenix is, is the place that inspires me the most. I mean, it feels like home. If I got an idea, I can just drive 20 minutes. Phoenix is, is the main studio. I was doing festivals and shows, like uh, private shows in houses. And in one of them, this lady was selling stuff, like a Mexican folk art. Uh, she saw that this lady came to me trying to buy one of my wood carvings that I used to do with my dad. She is like, what the meaning of this piece? And I'm like, it's just a retablo. You can use it as a headboard for your bed. And she's like, oh, okay. And she walked away. The lady that was selling her stuff on the side come to me and she's like, dude, what was that? And I was like, what? She's like, you just let her go. And I'm like, yeah, she wasn't interested. No, you lost her because you didn't tell her the story about the painting. Every painting have to have a story. Every piece of art need to have a story. So I go to the future now. When I call Chico and she's like, who's this? What's your name? And I'm like, Genaro. And she's like, I met you last week. This is Dana. <laughs> She's like, come to Chico, let's talk. At the beginning of my career, I can tell you the first 10 years, most of my collectors were from Chico, locally. And I think still, most of my collectors locally, they're from people that learn about my art because of Chico. They give you the opportunity to create so much art without investing that much money yourself. That's something that every artist loves it. Because material is expensive. And, and Chico have like, they put everything in a silver plate for you. Not just to create, but to sell also. Chico, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias por todo lo que haces por mí como artista y lo que haces por las generaciones que vienen y las que ya pasadas de los mayores, así como, como Joe Ray. Este, thank you very much, Chico. Everything that you do for us as an artist and, and as a Latino community in town is something to admire. There's a big space in my heart uh, uh, for you guys, for everything that, the, that you have done for for me and my family, and I'm gonna be completely grateful forever with you guys. Muchas gracias. <laughs>